So this is how I get my dog to eat the biscuits that they'll never eat. So these biscuits, they are especially made for her diet because she has allergies. So, <clears throat> and then once we bought them, and it cost like 40, 50 pounds, which is quite a lot for dog food. Uh, just for biscuits but because it had to be made so she won't eat them so my dog seems to have lost a shitload of weight so right now what I'm doing is I've found out from the vet that you can actually feed your dog pasta right so and um, because past, what it, whatever's in pasta is not one of her allergies this is going to be okay, so what we're doing is we're crushing down all of these little biscuits with this big piece of rebar. This is so we can powderise things. This is what I call cooking rebar for dog food cooking. So when your dog's got a bit of biscuits, you could use a hammer or something equally as heavy but you're not getting a hammer this heavy because I'm not that strong so I need the weight to be able to just smash it just by there yeah because she refuses to eat the biscuits so what I'm going to do is we've got this We've also got this here, which is for dogs. It's for the bones and stuff, it's salmon oil. Fish oil is generally good for your dog's diet and stuff, but not too much. So one square to that will be enough for this entire meal. So let me just speed this up a little bit. That's what it looks like when it's finished. So then when this pasta's done, she's actually gonna, this is gonna be mixed with that then, with a bit of salmon oil. A tiny, tiny little barley sugar. Because nat dogs can't eat sugars, but natural sugars such as barley sugar should be okay for them, the vet said. So, So much easier than a pestle and mortar. So much less work required too. Right, so to explain a bit more of what I'm doing, this salmon oil here is going to help all of this stick to that pasta that's growing, that's cooking there. And so as soon as I've done this, that'll go in there with a bit of barley sugar. Not too much, but enough just to sweeten it so she can't resist the taste. People say, like, they wouldn't go through this much effort for their dogs. If you're not prepared to go through this much effort to feed your dog, you shouldn't have a dog. If that dog was to fall ill, what would you do? 
big responsibility having a dog. We all love dogs. Let's break that up a lot more. There we go. So this is all the biscuits that she won't eat. But she will eat it today. Now that it's like that. Okay, so this pasta is now done. So let me just drain the pasta off and then rinse it. There we go, that's the pasta nice and rinsed. Let's let the water drip off for a bit. Okay, so what we do is we do two squares of fish oil. Get a tiny bit of barley sugar. And then we mix all of it. Well, let's stir it first, make sure that oil gets everywhere. Okay, then we pour all of them into there. Look at that, looks horrible, doesn't it? But your dog's gonna think it's delicious. That's the craziest part about it. The reason why I do it with pasta is because the dog can't escape the bits of pasta. Right, so that's it. 